Hello everybody, in this little screencast I'm going to be talking about creating a video using PowerPoint. So let's say you have lots of animations on your PowerPoint presentation and you want them all to show up nice and well. So instead of using a screencast program like I am right now, you could ex export the presentation as a movie file. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is open up your completed uh, presentation like so. I'm going to be using my visualbasic.net um, as a example. You can find the videos on YouTube as well. So what you need to do is go to slideshow and then go to record slideshow here. And what this is going to do is it's going to record your timings and also record your voice using the microphone. So when you when you press the space bar or click next or anyways get to the next slide it's going to check how long it took for you to do that so the next time you play it it will automatically do those things for you and best of all it's going to record what you say so that it's going to store it here as a sound file now these sound files are going to be used in your video so that you don't have to record them outside of PowerPoint so once you've done all of these things you can all, if you mess up on any slide, these are recorded individually, so you can always just delete this anytime. Once you're done with all of these, go ahead and go to File, and then click on Export. Then click on Create a Video. Now in here, you have first of all the presentation quality. Now, I, I put it on the highest, but you can put it on the lower ones, or whatever you need. Now, the second thing is rather important make sure to choose use recorded timings and narrations unless you don't want any of the timings now on the bottom here where you see 5.00 this is the default value or the default time so let's say you didn't record timing for a certain slide well it's going to automatically put in this timing for it now this is more important if you don't use recorded timings because then it's going to use five seconds as a minimum now once you're done with everything, you can create the video by clicking here. Now this is going to bring you to a save as menu, and over here you can select wherever you want it, and it's going to save it as a MPEG-4 or a Windows Media video. So it's going to take quite a bit of time depending on how much quality you put it as. Now if, it, if this is just a simple video that you want to show maybe in your classroom or something, then I wouldn't recommend putting it too high. But for things like actual videos, like screencasts that I do, it'd probably be better to do uh, the highest possible. Okay, so thanks for watching my video. And if you liked it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. See you next time.